In today's video, we're opening a two-year-old booster box for the $500 Yu-Gi-Oh card. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another first edition booster box opening. We have Eternity Code, which was an absolutely insane set at the time of release back in early 2021. Really, we're almost at three years old at this point. I think it was early to mid 2021. I think it was like May or maybe April when this came out. I could be completely wrong on that, but it's been a very long time because we're almost in 2024. And this was a booster box I had available on Ruxton34.com and it was purchased by Zach B, who has purchased a couple of tins from us before. He said he wanted this to be opened. And inside this, there's some pretty awesome stuff. Before we continue into that, though, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two first edition Yu-Gi-Oh cards from Magician's Force and from Ferro Servant, not Ferronic Guardian. I almost said Ferronic Guardian. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Will we pull the $500 Yu-Gi-Oh card or will we pull something else cool like Access Code Talker? All right, so I was revisiting the price guide. Obviously, it's been a couple years, so a lot of things have been reprinted, Access Code being one of them. Surprisingly, it's still a $40 secret rare, so still a really awesome pull if you get that. The big card that we're looking for, the $500 Yu-Gi-Oh card, is the Area of the Water Charmer Starlight Rare. Thing used to be like $700, $800. It's down to $500 now, but still $500 card. Insane. That's ungraded near mint. I mean, you don't have to do anything to send it into PSA to get that price. That's just the raw price if you pull it. There's also other Starlight Rares like Effect Failure, of course. That has a lot of reprints with the, the Rarity Collection. So that, that used to be the one of the big cards. Now it's down to like 400 I know, terrible, 400 Then there's Chamber Dragon Mate as well. So both pretty good. Then I noticed Madolce Salon's a $15 Ultra Rare in here as well. So there's actually some pretty awesome stuff. Let's just crack into it. By the way, if you want to grab something to be open in a video, I do have a few things available on Ruxin34.com. And if I don't at this specific moment. Who knows? In the future, I might because I've been adding more and more stuff to Ruxin34.com. Even if you don't want something open, you can buy stuff sealed. You can buy PSA cards, loose cards. I've been posting a lot of stuff there because it makes it a lot easier for me. I don't have to like post it on Instagram and reply to a million times to get somebody to actually pay for it and all that different stuff. Just a much smoother process. And I really like using the website. So go check it out. Uh, it's not like the perfect looking website. I did finally add a search bar. So that, that'll help a little bit. Uh, so go check that out. It'll be linked in the description. And it's just Ruxin34.com, so it's not that complicated if you can't find the link. Okay, I'm going to do a little shuffle just for fun. Only 24 packs in this video. It is Eternity Code, so not like super old or anything, but honestly, a pretty pricey booster box. I think it was like 150 bucks I sold it for to Zach. So that, that was about market price at the, at the moment. I usually go with like the lowest on eBay that I can find, or if there's a sale, I try to go with that. So shout out to Zach, first of all, for allowing us to, to open this booster box for him. So I'm really hoping we can pull... Any Starlight would be insane. Access code would be awesome. The Madolce Salon's a really nice card. As I said, $15 Ultra. So we are going to just hope for the best. I think four from the back works here. We have Red Familiar. Let's see what we can get. Parallax Seed was a crazy card at the time. Uh, it's not super expensive because it's a common, but still pretty good. It's still a good card, actually. We have Buzzsaw Shark, uh, Gogi the Power Load Ogre, Resonator Command, Code Breaker Virus Berserker. Rose Girl, our first holo is a super rare. Guaranteed supers. We're in 2021. I mean, they, they changed it to guaranteed supers back in 2016. So since then, I don't think... Is it is there rares in... I don't think there are rares. Or are there rares? I don't remember when they got rid of the rares. It might have been before this, but I'm pretty sure it was after this, I thought. Torpedo Takedown. Cataclysmic. We have Parallel Exceed, but I don't remember a rare. Emergence. We have Basalalima. We have the Deceptive Gia Win. Crimson Resonator. I don't see a rare. Okay, maybe the, was it before this they got rid of rares? I guess it was. Interesting. So two supers so far. Instead of having a rare and a foil, it's just a foil. You know, you get a guaranteed foil. One, two, three, four. We have Super Heavy Samurai Swordmaster Musashi. We have Toe Tie Dragon, the Tao Tie. We have a Red Familiar, Ancient Warriors, Evil Eye, Deep Sea Minstrel, Performer Pal Turn Trooper. Goki Iron Claw, and oh, you see that link? You think Access Code Talker, not that time. Pretty amazing card. Access Code Talker is absolutely amazing. It's just a very, very good card. I personally have actually used it, thanks to playing a lot of Master Duel with it. I haven't played Master Duel in a, quite a while at this point, but Access Code Talker was one of those cards in certain decks that just absolutely dominates. We have Trias, we have Super Heavy Samurai, Unchained, just not being able to respond to it in, uh, what is it, when you... You summon it, and then at some point, you can't respond to its activation of its effect, and it's just super good because of that. And then also, it can become 5,300 or whatever it is very easily, very easily. And if not, it's 4,300, so it's pretty insane. Goki Guts has been a while since I've played, so, you know, the, the exact effects are not quite there. Pinpoint Dash, we have a Nemesis Flag. 
because for a while on on twitch we were actually streaming a lot of master duel it was super fun but at some point i decided i just wanted to play pokemon that's what we've been doing recently lots of pokemon recently and it's been fun because the poker rocks channel is almost at 5k subs which i'm super pumped about i mean 5k the goal was 10k for this for this year but that was like a long shot goal so getting to 5k was i mean it was pretty awesome though we didn't get the long shot goal we got halfway there which is pretty good deep stream mentor we have pinpoint dash turn trooper and oh yeah i can't i like realized recently that this card came out in this set i was like wow that's crazy i had no idea it was such a new card i'm used to using it in master duel with my uh alistair and stuff like that my invoked decks my invoked dogmatic and dark magician stuff like that one two three four we have a link burst xt's revive splash magical hound that's like a retrain of the original 2800 2800 from crv i think Pride, we have the Command, Shark, Golden Air, we have Goki. Titan Side. Oh, that's a secret. Titana Cider. I don't remember this being a good card, but maybe it doesn't have a reprint, and that could make it better. Looks like it is a solid $1 card, so not that crazy. I mean, it's like a dollar something, but it's over a dollar, so that, that's that, I guess. Not an access code, that's for sure. One, two, three, four. We're hoping for something a little better on the second secret. Torpedo, Cataclysm, we got Parallel. No Ultras yet, interestingly enough. We have Deep Sea. Super Rave Samurai, Proxy F Magician, and Emblem of the Plunder Patrol Ultra. So, pretty nice as well. Plunder Patrol Ultra, looking good. I like that. It's not the Medulce Salon, which is a very, very big Ultra. One, two. I mean, $15 Ultra is huge out of just a core set. Deep Sea Sentry, Magic Lound. King Beast Barbaros, another like old, old school retrain. Ghost Pirate, AIQ, Trias. And Malice, Lady of Limit. Okay, okay. It's crazy how these booster boxes from just a couple years ago have already gotten, like, pretty valuable. They have some pretty amazing... I mean, this set was absolutely awesome. There were some really strong cards in it. I think this one also had the little plus sign looking guy who got banned. Link Cross, I think is what its name was. I think it was an Ultra. Yeah, I think that was in here as well. Marincess. So there were some really powerful ones with Parallel Exceed, with Access Code Talker, with Link Cross. It was some crazy stuff. And then, of course, the big starlights, like desirable ones with the water charmer, the effect veiler. It was the first time having a big high rarity of that. Well, that's not true. There was an ultimate rare, but it was, a, you know, just a desirable card. And getting a starlight was pretty big. Splash Mage is also a good card um, for, like, uh, uh, Coder. Coder? No, I'm saying Coder. Like, Co-Talkers is what I'm trying to say. Not Distant Coder. But, I mean, basically, what's the difference? I mean, this is Eternity Code, after all. So, it makes sense. This is the first half. So, the first half has been iffy. But we've only gotten one Ultra, so there should be multiple others in the second half if there's not one here. Zero Day, Iron Claw, Crimson Resonator. It's a pretty good card. I'm surprised it's so new. And a Deep Sea Prima Donna. So there is another Ultra here. I don't think this is the one we were looking for, Deep Sea Prima Donna. I could be wrong on that, though. I haven't checked every price. You guys will see it on the screen, obviously. Some people love when, I, when I'm like, this card sucks, and then it's just like 20 bucks or something, <laughs> which is pretty funny, to be honest. We have Nemesis, Deep Sea Sentry. Be King Beast Barbaros, not Beast King. I think there is a Beast King Barbaros as well. I think that's the difference. They swapped the name Goki, Goldilocks, Codebreaker. Codebreaker, Zero Day, and AI Contact. I like how on this one it says Final FAI. No, why doesn't it have. It should have had AI in there somewhere. I, well, I guess you'd have to mess up the FA. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of confusing, but <laughs> one, two, three. Eight. Funny enough that they're talking about like AI and stuff, and like AI became like huge just a couple years later, like massively huge. I mean, I guess maybe there was like whisperings about it happening a couple years ago, or maybe they were just like doing sci-fi kind of things, you know, like AI is going to take over, which for the use of deployment, that is not a very good one, I don't think. I remember that getting a Mega 10 reprint and being very cheap, but that's almost everything that gets a Mega 10 reprint, so maybe that doesn't mean anything. Okay, one, two, three, four. What will we get? Will it be Starlight? We have Splash, Magical Hound, Pride, Lantern Shark, Stairs of Mail, Golden Hair. We have... Necroquip, Burning Draw, another super. So we have three ultras, one secret. Obviously, no Starlight. Those are going to be one in 12, one in 25 boxes. Sorry, I was thinking of uh, the Battles of Legend, I guess. One in 25. So even harder to get for that. And then specifically, one in 100. You know, no, one in, one in 125, because there's five of them in here. Marincess and. Ooh. That's not a bad second secret. Goat's Born and Moonlit Chill. It has had reprints, so it's probably not super expensive. But the first edition secret original print, that's probably pretty solid. That's definitely better than the first secret we got. Okay, do you guys remember? We actually did pull that in Starlight at one point out of a booster box. A random booster box, which was pretty cool. So I'm hoping we can do that with Effect Veiler or with the Area of the Water Charmer. That'd be pretty cool. We have Link Burst, Nemesis, Deep Sea, King Beast Barbaros, Deep Sea Artisan, Super River Samurai. We have Proxy F Magician, 
Stairs of Mail, and Ancient Warriors, Ingenious Zug Gong. All right, two secrets, three ultras so far. Let's see if we can end this with something big like a starlight. We have the Bluebeard. Bluebeard! Frolic, hey, you gotta... Hey, Bluebeard, we got Splash Mage, Noctivision Dragon, Zero Day. We have an Ancient Warriors, and we've got Gatchery at Ignister. All right, Bluebeard, where are we selling next, Captain? By the way, guys, okay, so we did the One Piece video the other day. You guys saw that. Well, some of you guys saw it. Not many people watched it, but I knew, I knew when we posted it, it was going to be a very low-viewed video compared to everything else, obviously, because it's not Yu-Gi-Oh. But I posted that the other day. It was actually a really fun opening. I really enjoyed it. Michael sent us the booster boxes to open up, and I decided after that that I was going to continue One Piece, and... Uh, a couple nights later after recording that Har, super rare. I actually, pretty sure I played against this at some point. I think when I was doing some, uh, like a viewer dueling day on Twitch, somebody used these against me. I did win the duel, but I, I had no idea what was going on. It was actually pretty tough. But as I was saying, uh, I actually started back One Piece. I was on episode 311. Ironically, I started the live action One Piece, which I was watching and I was like, this isn't how I remember it going. Cause it's been a while since I watched the first 310 episodes. I was like, I don't remember all these people. Like, uh, no spoiler alert. If you haven't watched One Piece, you're going to watch it at some point. If you haven't watched it, you're probably not going to cause it's a thousand episodes. His grandpa's in the, uh, in the live action. And I'm like, I don't remember his grandpa. Okay. This trap chicks all Maris. That's that has a starlight as well. That's actually a pretty good pull. I don't remember his grandpa. And I was like, that's kind of weird that I don't remember that. And it was 300 episodes. Turns out I was three episodes or two episodes away from actually seeing him for the first time. So ironically, they put it in season one and then it doesn't actually get there until episode 313 in the anime. And so I, I start it back again. And then I see all these characters that are in the live action again. And I was like, what in the world? That's so strange. So the, all of that to say, I got back on One Piece and I was like, oh, that's super weird and funny that I stopped right then. We have a script on. We're really looking for a Starlight Rare right now. And I've dedicated, I tweeted it out. I said, this is my ultimate goal. It'll be my, my number one achievement. Here's my here's my tweet. Go check out my Twitter at Rexon34 or whatever you call it these days. Go follow it. Um, if you want to see stupid tweets like me dedicating myself to finishing One Piece. I did watch like 10 episodes that night. So I made progress. Deep Sea, Magical Hound. I, I think I'm going to do it. It's, I know this is this is not, it has nothing to do with Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Buzzsaw Shark. And I probably shouldn't be talking about this after how the video did the other day. I mean, yeah, not great. But the people who liked it seemed like they liked it. So even though some people were like, you don't even know any of the characters. You've watched 300 episodes. And I was like, well, to be fair, it was a long time ago. Second of all, I did know the characters they thought I didn't know. Because like somebody thought I didn't know Chopper was a main character. And I was like, did I say something to like make them think that? We have Deep Sea and Burning Draw. Okay. All right, last pack. I'm sorry, Zach, that this turned into a rambling about, uh, about One Piece. But you know, when there's a thousand episodes, there's a lot to talk about. Last pack magic. If this has a starlight in it, we go crazy. Here we go. Eternity Code. Gotta believe, guys. One, two, three, four. We have a Goki Guts. Super Samurai Sword Master. Tatoi Dragon. Red Familiar. Golden there. Pyrath. Necro Equip. Oh, I got a hiccup right in the middle. We have Zero Day and the Armored Bitron. All right, so we didn't get anything super crazy in that box, but shout out to Zach once again for allowing us to have a video. This is super fun. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and check out Ruxin34.com if you want to find something to, you know, buy yourself, to open up yourself, for me to open up, for some Grady cards, singles, all that stuff. My website. Go check it out. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu Gi Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.